Hey everyone, I'm Dustin with Kilmore, and today I wanted to go over some of the new walk behind tooling that we're getting from uh, Tsync, uh, one of our suppliers and partners. Uh, I saw a post the other day from Reed Alloway, uh, one of our Canadian friends who received one of the, some of the earlier stuff from, from Ryan, and people were asking about it and um, had some good questions, and we're excited about it. So I figured, hey, great opportunity to uh, kind of touch on some of those same, same things as well. So I wanted to go over both what we're kind of uh, uh, kind of moving towards and kind of where we were at. And and so previously, both on all the old Planet Juniors and um, the tool setups that we had kind of for the walk behind up to now, have used, again, what's basically been done on the Planet Junior for quite a long time. And so clamps like th this and, and flat bar stock like this, um, you know, that slop, uh, goes right on over um, in, in different ways and you can put your you know your flat bar stock shanks in for different types of tooling kind of make your tools up with this great um, it works really well um, and we're going to still continue to stock these um, and support these um, but a lot of our tools um, going forward for the walk behind are going to be moving towards inch and a half um, and this is aluminum, so a couple of benefits of this system is it does give, offer some weight gain, uh, not weight gain, um, it actually re reduces some of the weight of the tooling. Um, so the bigger the tool setup now, um, actually um, we can uh, make it a little bit easier um, on the operator um, that way. The other benefit too is the way that the, the clamps are and the way that the, the aluminum tubes are, um, is that it's actually, it makes it easier for setting up a better square system. Um, and it, it, one, it's easier to actually set up in general. It, stuff comes together really nice, but also um, when you're talking about precision cultivation, you want your tool to be set up really nice and tight and, and not have a lot of tolerance uh, that is needed um, to get it set up right. Um, and these offer that. And so um, a couple things, um, Again, the, the old style clamp, this kind of was your utility, it did everything kind of. It set up your whole structure, it put on your, your, your bars and everything. We're actually gonna have a couple extra clamps in this setup, but um, it, uh, they offer some benefits in the way it's, it's set up. And so um, with this new style of clamps, the nice part is these are two blazer. So there's no weld that has to happen in these. There's no jig fixtures that have to get set up that can get out of alignment or something. So it's gonna, it's gonna fit, and it's gonna fit every time into your setup. So this is really nice. Your tolerance is gonna be really tight. And then when you put your two bolts in here, you can kind of see down here on the different clamps, and you tighten that up, that pinches that in over top the two. Um, so that one, knowing that it's gonna fit every time, um, is, is really nice. And then also knowing that um, with having just tighter tolerances, and being able to clamp down on a square versus that, that flat bar stock, you can really set up a nice rigid um, square structure um, for, for your precision cultivation. Um, so that's the cross clamp. Uh, and then this one here is for the flat bar um, shanks. So like on the, on the finger reader here, uh, it, this is the one right here. So I just kind of have it here so you can kind of see um, that going in on the tube, um, you know, one, bolt here clamps it down over the tube and then these two here um, tighten in over the shank and so again when I was putting this together it was a lot of fun because it just I put the other ones together they work great um, but this really um, stood out at, for me is the ease of setting it up even like with the holes and stuff that are here while we don't have anything running through it on the setup the nice part about it is um, you know exactly where you're at. And so before I'd be measuring a lot more, making sure, again, because this crossbar here on the old system, um, it could get tweaked just a little bit and you wouldn't quite realize it. And then your tools on here are, are also tweaked. And so they're, they're not parallel to, um, to the front ones. And so here, I didn't even do a single measurement on this because I, I knew where these holes were, they're every three inches. And I, I just lined up these 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 clamps on both sides, and I tightened it down, and I was perfectly parallel. So there's some just just really nice parts from the assembly process of this, that comes with this. And then um, another another really nice uh, addition um, and improvement 
is actually the gauge wheels. Um, you know, we kind of always, part of always the challenge was there's never enough holes. So there's more holes here now. Um, there's two spots also on this plant that you can adjust, you know, for the quick, um, for the quick adjust. And so different holes you can actually put that in. Um, but if you find a spot that may be even in between a hole or you want to fix it fast, the option is right already built in the clamp. You can tighten this down. Same as, same as these things, it's gonna pull the clamp in and it's gonna, it's gonna fasten that tight. So um, the real nice part about the new gauge wheels is there's no weld on the side. And what I would often find from people setting up the first time on, on their setup would be, they, they would say the tool's not tracking quite right. And what I, would, what I found most often was when people would tighten down the old style of gauge wheel that had the kind of little flag coming out, they would, it, it could be, there's enough tolerance again in, in this clamp that, that gauge wheel is going through and it would actually be twisted, turned in here. And so it might be cambered out or in and, and both might be going both ways or both might, you know, facing the same way. And then your tool is going to want to, these are supposed to act as a rudder to keep you nice and straight when you're cultivating. Well, if they're turned, then they're going to, it's going to try to keep pulling you one direction. So that's re another nice part with this, talk about square and precise. This new setup does a really good job of doing that. Um, a couple other things, um, new design. Um, the old trailing arms that were there, used to kind of have a welded on piece and it came back a long way. Um, actually now with the new setup, you can use different size mod bars to make that trailing arm. This can be a short one and we can ha we'll have some longer ones as well. Um, and and so from a shipping standpoint and from an assembly standpoint, uh, customizability is a lot better. Um, and then also the toolbar, the front mount here. This used to be, um, ignore this clamp for the second, I'll talk about that in a second. This, this green part here, um, this and this come in a box and they can be attached to any length of mod bar that we'll offer. And so the nice part is again, from a shipping standpoint, from a customizability standpoint, if you've got this size toolbar, but later you decide you want to use the same piece, but you want a wider toolbar, all, all you have to get is the mod bar. So it gives a lot more options in the future for people. Um, and then this clamp right here, that's on here, is actually for something like, something like um, a furrower, um, or um, we'll have a, a smaller one that can go for a ripper as well. Um, and so this, this will go right up in here and this uh, will tighten down. Now I didn't have it on this setup because we have other stuff set up already, but you can kind of see how it comes, uh, it hooks on over top of the, the toolbar here and it screws on through the frame of this. So a nice rigid structure to hold something. Uh, it's, a, it's a heavier center mount clamp. Um, the other clamp, we have two clamps yet that we don't have here to show. Um, obviously there's round shank yet so for um, any types of tooling that has round shank, but um, as Ryan and Reed like to call it, uh, the McBitey clamp, there's one that goes right on here that allows you to uh, move, uh, have a center clamp anywhere on this piece here. So. Um, they, this is machined here, so the clamp will, will, catches in on both sides here, and you tighten it down to that. And then that would allow you to put stuff like these shanks um, center mounted if you wanted to. Uh, not at the same time as that, because that, that wouldn't make sense. But um, then you can put a couple on here or whatever it might make sense for what you're doing. So that's, uh, those are the two clamps I think that I don't have to show here today, but I think kind of the exciting part is, um, is seeing some of the new stuff that that Ryan stuff like it kind of feels like really getting dialed in um, to a good setup that really works um, for for everyone um, gives a lot of customizability but um, really can just um, you know it, it, it does give the customizability but also gives the ability to choose like specific setups that just work um, and, and how you want um, and then on top of that as we're talking about walk behind stuff. Um, stay tuned in the next couple weeks. We have some other fun things that uh, we'll be releasing um, and and kind of unveiling uh, from the from the walk behind standpoint. So um, do do stay tuned on that and uh, and we're excited to keep on releasing those things. So I don't know if we have any questions. No, no questions right now. So um, but put them in the comments if you have them. Um, just uh, feel free to. 
continue to connect with us in any way, and uh, we'd be happy to help you out or answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching.